Hey folks, it's Carrie with Bootstrap Farmer Customer Service, and today we're going to talk about the crops you can grow in an unheated hoop house. A hoop house is a metal or wood structure with greenhouse plastic, and during the day it captures and traps the sun's heat and transfers that heat to the soil. And when the sun goes down, that heat comes back up from the soil to the plant's canopy. And during the winter time, selecting crops that are cold hardy can help you to continue to grow throughout the winter. And in addition, a hoop house can help protect against rain, frost, and wind. And during harsh weather events, you can also use frost blankets within your hoop house for microclimates for additional protection. Crops that do well inside of the hoop house are kale, spinach, and chard. Kale can tolerate very low temperatures and can produce a high yield with low light. And because we're growing in the winter, you have less daylight than you would in the summer. Spinach is low growing, but resilient to the cold. Chard can give you great color to take to your market, but requires little maintenance. Along with chard, celery also produces well in the cold. Root vegetables such as carrots, beets, and radishes get more flavorful and sweeter in those colder temperatures. Because the greens at the top of these root vegetables are protected by the hoop house and further protected by frost blankets, you don't get as much frost damage to your plant. Unheated hoop houses are also a great way to overwinter your woody stemmed herbs, such as rosemary and thyme. Not only does this set you up for early spring sales, but it also gives you a high value crop to sell and enjoy over the winter. Part of your hoop house can also be reserved for extending herbs like mint, cilantro, and chives. Timing is everything, so plant before your first frost for best results. Other cold hardy plants are brassicas, such as broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Although cabbage is cold hardy, given its size and low value, it's best reserved for outside under frost blankets. Other crops that can be planted in a hoop house and overwintered are onions, garlics, and leeks. Companion planting brassicas with onions and garlics can help give you an added protection for pests. In the night, it's still gonna get cold in your hoop house, but when the sun comes up, that'll create humidity. That means you'll still need to plan to vent to bring fresh air from outside inside. And that means using roll-up sides or shutters and exhaust fans. In the winter, you're still gonna have to water, but you'll be watering much less than you were in the summer. To prepare your soil for the winter, make sure it's well-drained and moist, but not waterlogged. Be mindful to check for leaks and don't leave your water on after you're done watering. And don't forget to continue to check for insects, even in the winter. And don't forget to check for things like fungal issues or powdery mildew. With a little bit of planning, your garden can be a year-round source of fresh produce. Hoop houses give you a lot of options to continue growing in the late summer, the early spring, and all year long. 